a shocking story of a miscarriage of justice from Chhattisgarh. A 24-year-old Adivasi girl served a seven-year jail term on charges of being a mouse and killing 23 policemen. A court has recently acquitted the villager. Kate Kiangre has more on this. Chained, beaten, raped and tortured. This 24-year-old Adivasi lived a nightmare before she was finally acquitted by the court earlier this year. But not before she had lost seven years of her life in jail, accused of ambushing and killing 23 policemen along with 230 other Maoists. <laughs> Activists and lawyers who help secure her freedom claim cases based on trumped-up charges are common in Chhattisgarh, where villagers are often picked up by the police charged with non-bailable offences and branded Maoists. Jails have 220% under trials, that's 220 prisoners cramped in a space meant for 100. Another stark reality, for every 100 cases filed by the police, 97 result in acquittal after trials. Uh, conviction rate is 3%. And in other places, 1%. So if you are so angry and angry people, what is happening in those cases? After a very long period of incarceration, which can be anywhere between 3 years to 6 years, in uh, Hidmes case, it was seven years, I think. Uh, they are acquitted. They are not convicted in those cases. 2012, we have infrastructure planning. In this case, we have opened three new jails. The Sakti Kavirdham Sairangar has started. In the next six months, there will be six jails. That will be started in Bijapur, Bijapur, Narayanpur, Sukma, Khairagar, Mungeli. It is true that Chhattisgarh is dealing with a massive problem of Maoist insurgency with fatal attacks on security forces. But with many tribals arrested for being Maoist sympathizers and languishing in jail for years, it seems in the fight between the state and the Naxals, it's the innocent villagers who end up paying the heaviest price. In New Delhi with Ridesh Joshi, Ketki Angre for NDTV.